these too. Let me like set it up like they do on Instagram before they do a video. It's just so perfect. It's irritating. Hey guys, it's your Miss Tiana Cole J. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new to this channel, thank you for clicking on that link. Bo, welcome to my channel. I am here with a highlight and contour routine of mine that I do often. The products I am using are very special to me. Drugstore. They are they're not cheap, but they are inexpensive. A lot of these products you will be able to find at the drugstore, beauty supply store. Um, I think one of these or maybe two of these you're going to have to like order out to find them, but they are very inexpensive. So let's just get started. As you can see, my brows are done because you know we all know how I do my brows, but Whenever it comes to highlight and contouring and just putting on makeup in general, even if you're not putting on makeup, go ahead and moisturize. Moisture is what your skin needs, whether you're dry, oily, or sensitive. The skin needs it. Just moisturize your face. I'm going to apply my primer first. This is broken, but this is also the Elf SPF 20 Sunscreen Face Primer. I like that because it has SPF in it, and even though you know I got everlasting melanin so now that I have my moisturizer and my primer on I'm going to start with color correcting color correcting is exactly what I'm saying you're correcting the colors on your face now of course when you look at my face you see a bunch of dark spots very common for girls my skin tone and darker and lighter you know to have like hyperpigmentation and acne scars and just life scars so what are you gonna do you're gonna color correct I'm going to be using my LA girl pro conceal this is the orange corrector and I'm going to be placing that in all the areas I want to color correct all the areas that I want to mask that darkness and try to create an even tone without adding so much product to my face so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this under the eyes and this is like really rich orange so it's not exactly peach I recommend using like a peach more than a straight up orange because it can relieve an orange undertone under your makeup you don't really want that um, for me I have like golden undertones so I don't really want that so I'm not gonna use a lot of this product but it still gets the job done. I'm gonna put that on every area that irks my soul every day. I'm gonna use my beauty blender to blend this out. Beauty blender is not part of the drugstore thing. Sorry. I, sorry. I'm gonna take the butt of the beauty blender and I'm just going to dab. I am so taking that out of this video. Dab the product into the skin as so. And this beauty blender, if I didn't already say it, is damp. If you have some type of blender, make sure it is damp because it works best like that. Don't ask me why, it just does. And already, as you can see, it's starting to mask my spots. Not totally, but it helps. Sometimes if I feel like these spots are just so stubborn, I like to take my other LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Taupe. It's close, not completely, but it is close to my skin tone. What I like to do is I like to put that on the spots that just seem like they want to make an appearance no matter what you do. So I'm going to put that on those spots, like that and that. These never want to go away. And the rest are pretty much non-existent. Only those three spots am I applying more concealer on. Beauty Blender, gonna go there and pat that up. And now they're like completely gone. 
dope right it comes to the fun part I'm going to apply my foundation it is also from the drugstore this is my black opal true color pore perfecting lip foundation in the shade hazelnut this foundation is great if you have oily dry or whatever skin I think this works really good especially for my skin it keeps me hydrated I don't crack this is just this is a good foundation guys this foundation you need one pump maybe one and a half if you're being extra but for me it takes just one pump also for the sake of the video I'm going to be using some drugstore brushes this is the real techniques foundation brush and these are sold at I believe Walgreens order them online I like ordering the sets rather than just singulars and stuff like that so yeah I'm gonna warm up the product on top of a lid just so the consistency can get going and I'm not just gonna start spreading it on my face no I have a technique that dab that into the skin <laughs> dab and art is giving me all the life that I've ever wanted on this side of heaven Now that I've placed everything, I'm going to go back and kind of push down and swipe. Not harsh. It looks like I'm still dabbing. I'm still just kind of spreading the product. This is like a buffing brush. So you're going to have to, if you feel like you're running out of product, you're really not. It's just what's in the brush, which is okay. I'm not gonna lie, it has a funky smell. Some foundations do, if you can handle it cool, if not, I understand you. But yes, this has a funky smell, but it's okay. It gets the job done. And as you can see, when you look at my face, you wouldn't think that I had dark spots under this because of the color correcting and the concealers that she's before the foundation. So for those of you who seem like you have a problem when it comes to foundation and it looking cakey, try color correcting. Try adding some skin tone concealers before you put on your foundation because it really will make it so much easier for you. So now that I have applied my foundation, it's time for the highlight. That highlight and that contour. So I will be highlighting with. If you've been on this channel, you already know what this is. So this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn. I'm holding like this. Yes, this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Fawn, and Fawn is gonna go right up in here so the key to highlighting and contouring you want your highlight to be one to two shades lighter and you want your contour to be one to two shades darker you don't want to go all out we don't need bright we don't need you to be the source of our light at night like I don't need to be holding my stuff under your eyes saying be still I need to read and the reason some of us highlight and contour is because when we don't have foundation on, we have nothing on, our face literally does have its high points, its shadows, and we just want to bring that back when we add foundation. I feel like I'm speaking the truth. I'm just talking about makeup, but I feel like I'm speaking the truth. Take it, squeeze some product out, and I'm not going to go directly under the eye because that's how a lot of creasing happens, but I'm just going to do some streaks on my cheeks I'm not gonna go too low because that's where I contour so under the cheeks and I'm just going to highlight on the high points of my face and that is right above my cheekbone here and this product is really creamy okay I'm going to do like a little three strike thing on my forehead just to highlight there the bridge of my nose my cupid's bow and my chin. Now I'm going to contour. What I have to do is soak on my cheeks and I like to feel where it gets hollow. And that I feel the bone and it's hollow right in here. So my contour will start right here. 
demonstration purposes. And then the same here, starting in the dead center, drag it up. Okay, this is way too dark to go down the bridge of my nose, but I am going to put that here. I'm going to draw a line. And then I'm going to change that back to dark cocoa. And I'm going to add that to my nose. It's no one. This is not stereotype. This is not. Please don't come for me. What have I begun? But yeah, it kind of looks like tribal art, which is cool. If that's your thing, that's you. And for my favorite part, blending all that with my beauty blender, I'm gonna start with my concealer. What I like to do is I like to start at the bottom and work my way up. And to start at the bottom here, and what I like to do is at the bottom, I like to work my way up so that last product is under the eye causing less creasing. Now I'm going to take the butt and I'm going to blend out the contour. Now that everything is blended, what I like to do is go back with my foundation brush and make sure everything is well blended. I like blending, okay? I like things to be blended. I'm going to set the places that I've highlighted the contour. I'm going to be using this Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder in the shade 03 Medium. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put that on my triangle sponge so I can get in there. And I'm going to pat that on top of that highlight. What you see me doing a lot on this channel is baking. Baking is really letting that product set into your skin. And I really like that because it does benefit me. And while that's sitting there, I'm going to be using my CoverGirl Queen Collection. This is a bronzer. It's called Ebony Bronze. But I do use this to contour because it is just gorgeous. It has red undertones, so it brings like that true color back to my skin. I do have golden undertones, but this is like a nice shade to like have in my contoured areas. My contouring brush from Real Techniques, I'm gonna swivel that. I'm going to take my multitask brush. You can use this brush for whatever you really need it to do. I'm going to use this to brush away that powder and I do a swivel motion. There you go. Ooh. So, what it does, it really just brings definition back to the face. When you smile, when you turn your head, it's like I'm going to be using my CoverGirl Queen Medium face powder. I believe this is like, yeah, it's a press powder. And I'm using my multitasking little thing here. And I'm going to place that in all the areas I did not highlight or contour. Because, you know, I low-key feel like they feel freak out, you know? And without creating more product on here, I like to go over everything nice swift motion it's not harsh i'm just going over everything so that everything is well blended and this powder is not too drying and because i didn't do anything here i'm going to add that here i just wanted to show you my highlighting and contour routine how i get my face beat and ready to go for one of my looks of the day so i hope you guys found this video like really helpful if you were confused i said house highlight and contour i'm not extremely chiseled there's not the hugest difference but i do like what i do i believe it's like roll some bold 
you know and real cheap and that's what it's really all about use whatever products are good for you don't be afraid to look around use different products and see what really fits you when you find it stick with it just save yourself the headache thank you guys for watching and if you like the video give it a thumbs up if there's someone who don't know how to contour highlight for their life why don't you go ahead and share this link to them and i'll see you guys bye